Sadie Singh is getting popular for her role as Max in the Netflix hit series Stranger Things. Despite the fact that her family had no connections to the entertainment industry, she was attracted to the belief of becoming an actress. She started acting at a young age and went on to study music, dancing, and singing. During her school years, she and her brother were used to perform in a number of stage musicals together. She also started to appear in theater productions very soon. In 2013, Sink made her on-screen debut with a small role in the series The Americans. She only appeared in one episode of the series, but went on to play a similar character in the TV series Blue Bloods. Soon after, she got the key part of Suzanne Bollard in the television series American Odyssey. In 2017, she was casted as one of the major characters in the second season in the fiction series Stranger Things, pushing her to popularity and making her one of the country's most famous child performers. As the new season of the Netflix series is now available on the streaming platform, some fans are wondering who Sadie Singh is dating in real life. Her character is dating Lucas Singh in the series, but who is her real-life partner? Let's find out. Sadie Singh joined the Netflix series Stranger Things in its second season playing the magical character of Max, who moves from California to Hawkins, Indiana. Max quickly excites the interest of Lucas Sinclair. Talking about her relationship status in real life, it does not look like Sadie is having any boyfriend in real life. She is very close to her co-stars Finn Wolfhard and Noah Schnapp. However, they have nothing and are just very close friends. On the other hand, there's also a rumor all around the internet that she is secretly dating Joe Alwyn brothers Patrick Alwyn. Sadie was present on the music video of Taylor Swift's All Too Well, and we all know that Taylor is dating Joe Alwyn. Casting Sadie in her music video also indicated that it has a connection. In addition to that, some fans even noticed Sadie and Patrick hanging out in New York. Many fans even tweeted the snapshots. Similarly, one user tweeted, Patrick Alwyn hanging out with Sadie Sink is making sense now. The images of Sadie and Patrick are from September 2021, and it shows that the two are having a conversation while walking through New York City. They are having a good time together. The pictures have resurfaced on Twitter and are drawing a lot of attentions. While the Tribeca Film Festival is mostly focused on new releases, pop star Taylor Swift hosted a screening of her short movie All Too Well, which was released last year. Her fans from the entire world fell in love with the movie, which was based on Swift's song of the same name and featured Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien. Well, Taylor was at the event with her boyfriend along with Sadie Sink. However, no media has caught Patrick with her again after their first meeting. But we can assume Patrick was also present at the festival and no one was aware of his presence. We can confirm or deny whether Patrick and Sadie are dating right now. Both of them have yet to admit or deny their apparent romance. Sadie is also remembered for keeping her personal life as extremely private. Alwyn also flashed dating rumors with the youngest daughter of Jude Apatow and Leslie Mann after the two were spotted at Taylor Swift's New Year's Eve party in 2019. Well, we are compelled to believe that Sadie Sink is single right now until she makes her rumored relationship public. She does not seem to be involved with anybody. As a result, we are unaware of her ex-boyfriend too. In the world of movie and television, all it takes is a single performance to change an actor's career forever. For Sadie Sink, her breakthrough moment may have appeared in the four seasons of Stranger Things, as many viewers claim that her recent work is nothing short of an Emmy Award. The Stranger Things star, who returned as Max Mayfield in the hit Netflix series, has earned wide recognitions for her incredible acting in the latest season's fourth episode, Dear Billy. Max takes on an additional leading role this time around, and both critics and audiences have said that Sink really outperformed herself with her acting. The great reviews are because of Sink's display of satisfying emotions as her character fights with an extremely dangerous situation. This season, a new villain named Fekna is introduced to the story, and he is definitely the most terrifying creature to appear from the upside down. Fagna's modus operandi is disturbing and sinister. He tortures people who are struggling with mental health problems, showing them scary visions before holding and killing them. At the end of the third episode, Max also figures out that she is next on Fagna's hit list, and she finds herself stumbling on a fragile line between life and death. In depicting that fresh balance, Seng gives the performance of a lifetime tapping into a range of emotions to express Max's effort to survive, while also accepting her destiny. From her heartbreaking speech at Billy's grave to that frightening moment when she meets Fekna eye to eye, Singh's mesmerizing performance keeps viewers serious at every second of the episode. Stranger Things fans have flooded social media with support for Singh, with many of them thanking her for her commitment to the art.
Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. See you soon. Thanks for watching.